Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another unboxing, but it's with a slight difference as this is in collaboration with Demplan for their Sugar Swap September, which is to encourage people to cut down on the amount of sugar they consume, but without quitting. And this is to make sure they make the changes gradually rather than all in one go and there's a lot more risk of failing, isn't there? So for a week, I kept a food diary, so I wrote down every single thing that I ate, drink, anything, um, and then I sent it to them, and they have sent me this box, which will have in the amount of sugar I ate in that week, plus some tips and tricks in how to make sure I eat less sugar and things to swap for. So, got on with the unboxing. It's a cute little bear, isn't it? Open that. Okay, and the first thing it says is Hi Laura, thanks for taking part in Sugar Swap September. Here is your breakdown. So, the recommended weekly sugar con consumption for women is 175 grams. And my weekly was, oh god, 322. That's really not very good, is it? Part of the worst, the worst offenders were sweet chilli sauce which was 10.2 grams, um, fruit juices which was 6.2 grams and maple syrup which is 8. And my worst day was Thursday. I can't even remember why it's not Thursday. See there's three jars in here and one says open me. So, it feels like Alice in Wonderland isn't it? But how gorgeous are these jars? I can't actually get in here. Oh. oh my god, they're all full of sugar. Look. So I've had three jars of sugar in a week. They're like 300 grams each. And I'm guessing they're all... Oh no, 300 grams. Oh. So that is full of the sugar I've eaten in a week. That's three, just over 322 grams of sugar and it fills all these little mason jars. It's really not very good. <laughs> I didn't think I would have eaten or drunk that much. But there you go, you can see it. So that's like a coppery one. There's also like a... Oh, it's really not showing up on camera. A uh, marble effect one. And then like a darker marble effect one. Which is really cute, aren't they? I love those. Even if one is full of a load of sugar. Also, this box. Oh look, it's a little spoon. And it says swap your sugar. Can you see that? Swap your sugar. How cute is that? I love it! That's so cute. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. And it's even properly like in the spoon. I love it. We actually get a lot of sugar in our diets from natural sources, so, so it's like fruit, vegetables. Um, so we don't really benefit from adding extra sugar, so like sugary drinks. Uh, actually, red meals have a lot of sugar added to them, and you don't actually need it in your diet whatsoever. You get enough. Um, Dem plan want people to know is that when you eat sugar, it take your ba the bacteria in your mouth feeds on it, and it takes up to an hour for this to like go back to normal, as it produces more harmful acids in your mouth, which cause dental um, dental problems and tooth decay. And it takes, so if you eat more sugar, it's going to take a lot longer for your mouth to go back to normal. In the box as well, there's also this, which says how you can reduce your sugar. And it gives you some easy ways to do it. And it's, they've actually partnerships with Simple Health, which is a specialist behind them plan. Um, and giving you three ways that you can hopefully eat less sugar. The first one is to set a goal, which is quite good because 
say you want to eat maybe 100 grams less sugar in a week and you can gradually build up from that till you're eating just what in naturally in the food rather than adding to it. The next one which I think is probably my favourite is to buddy up with someone. So say you and your sister, your brother, your best friend, your mum, dad, if you both say you want to cut down on sugar, there's two of you together so you're more than likely to do it. And the last one is to know about sugar. What, what foods have sugar in, what don't, what are added to, so it might mean reading labels a lot more. It actually says 20% of people aged 18 to 34 said to have better knowledge of sugar alternatives would help them to reduce sugar. I agree with that. I don't really know many of the sugar alternatives you can get. So I think that's definitely something I'm going to be looking into because I don't really know the difference between different types. But I think this doing this sort of experiment has really opened my eyes to how much sugar I actually eat, especially that jarful. I was not expecting that much whatsoever, but there we go. There's also a sugar swap chart. So it says different foods that have a lot of sugar in and what you can switch for that I'll have less in. So such as fizzy drinks, fruit juices and smoothies. You could have water, milk, tea or coffee made without sugar and that is a more healthy alternative. Um, same with sugary breakfast cereals switch with porridge with fresh berries and there's, there's quite a lot on there as you can see a few different things you can choose from but I think that's such a good thing to include also on their website which I will leave a link to in down bar below Sugar Free Londoner has given a few quotes and about her experience of quitting sugar and one of the quotes that stood out to me is that she no longer craves sugary food now um, and she actually enjoys getting the sweetness from things more because she's not looking for that like fake sugar not the fake sugar but the added sugar um, and but the hardest thing was to find the hidden sugars which I can imagine is actually quite hard because I know a lot of ready meals have added sugar in and I think everything that you wouldn't expect would actually have a lot in but one of her top tips was to cook from scratch with fresh ingredients that way you know exactly what is going in your food you know exactly what you're eating and I think it also tastes a lot nicer because you've actually made it yourself I actually do a lot of cooking myself like from scratch um, and I really enjoy it because I love knowing what's in it also she's given a list of healthy sugar alternatives which I'm definitely going to be looking at and these are all natural so they're either going to be in food or that you can add them to your food but it won't like add too much sugar to it. Some huge numbers that go alongside this and it says that in 2017 more than 33,000 searches for sugar free shows that people are actually thinking about eating less sugar so there's good intentions but at the same thing one in ten say they couldn't go more than a day without sugar. That is a lot. So I think quite a few people could benefit from cutting down on sugar, not cutting com completely, just cutting down and building it that way, rather than just like cutting completely and failing, because you don't want to do that. So that is my unboxing. I still cannot believe I ate this. Look, look, look at all that sugar in a week. That's ridiculous. It's like milk more than double the recommended amount for a week. I just feel so bad about it. And I just thought I ate quite well as well, but there we go. It's the additives, isn't it? The chilli sauce and maple syrup. Oops. So if you want to know more about Demplan's Sugar Swap September, then please head to the link in the down bar below, where you'll find more information about what it is and also tips on how you can reduce your sugar as well as all the alternatives that I've mentioned below. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I know it's a little bit different but I think this is so so important um, and I'm definitely going to be keeping more of a track of what sugar I eat now, especially with that jar sat there looking at me right now which I know is full of sugar. So I'll see you soon in another video, bye!